French President Emmanuel Macron's centrist alliance suffered a significant blow as the far-right national rally, RN, party surged in the first round of France's parliamentary elections, securing 33% of the vote. This development positions RN, previously considered a fringe movement, to potentially assume power, marking the first far-right government presence since World War II. The left-wing New Popular Front also performed well, capturing 28% of the vote, while Macron's ensemble alliance lagged behind at 21%, raising questions about the president's decision to call the snap election. The election has divided the political landscape into three rival blocs. Only 76 of the 577 seats in parliament were decided in the first round, 39 for RN and its allies, 32 for the new popular front, and just two for Macron's alliance. The remaining seats will be contested in the second round, leading to unprecedented three-way races in 306 constituencies, compared to only eight in 2022. Candidates must secure at least 12.5% of the vote to advance, making this election highly competitive. Efforts to block the far-right's rise are underway, with the new popular front withdrawing third-place candidates to prevent RN victories. Macron's alliance has been less clear although Prime Minister Gabriel Adel emphasized that not one vote should go to the far right. However, decisions to withdraw or proceed are ultimately left to individual candidates. This election has significant implications beyond France. An RN-dominated parliament would bolster Euroscepticism and potentially weaken the European Union, aligning France with far-right leaders like Italy's Giorgia Meloni and Hungary's Viktor Orban. RN's success could also benefit Russian President Vladimir Putin given Marine Le Pen's previous support for him and her party's stance on NATO. Macron's ability to govern is at risk, as his party already lacks a majority in the National Assembly. A loss could force him to appoint a prime minister from the winning party, potentially putting a political opponent in charge. RN leader Jordan Bardella has stated he would govern only if his party wins an absolute majority, which appears unlikely, leading to possible political deadlock in France for the next year and a crisis for Macron's presidency. This election marks a pivotal moment in French politics, with the potential to reshape the country's domestic and international policies significantly. The second round will determine whether France faces a shift to the far right or continues under Macron's centrist leadership amid growing political polarization.